How to play Trash Pandas. The player who most recently took out the trash starts the game. Give that player the die and set the tokens in the middle of the playing area. Shuffle the cards to create a draw deck and deal cards to each player based on their turn order. For example, player 1 gets 2 cards, player 2 gets 3 cards, and so on. On your turn, roll the die and take the token that matches the die result. From there, you may decide to stop or continue rolling. Once you decide to stop, you may then activate each of the tokens you've collected in any order. Resolving each token is optional. If you decide to continue, roll the die again and take the corresponding token from that roll. You may continue rolling and taking tokens as long as you do not bust. Busting happens if you end your turn where the die result matches a token you've already taken. If you bust, don't resolve any tokens, but draw one card as a consolation prize. To prevent busting, you may save yourself by using a Blamo card to re-roll the last rolled die, and possibly change the result. Or, you can use a Nanners card to ignore the last roll entirely. If you manage to collect all six tokens without busting, you resolve those tokens and get to take another turn. However, the bonus turn is limited to three tokens. Let's take a look at the dice faces and tokens. For two trash cans, draw two cards into your hand. For two trees, stash two cards from your hand. These cards are placed face down and kept hidden until the end of the game. Only stash cards count as points at the end of the game. Trash can tree. Draw one card into your hand or stash one card from your hand. For the paw, steal one random card from the hand of another player. For Bandit Mask, draw and reveal the top card from the deck. Add that card to your hand. Each other player now has the opportunity to stash one card from their hand that matches the card drawn. These cards must be stashed face up. For each card that other players have stashed, you may draw one card and add it to your hand. Recycle. Trade this token for one of the remaining tokens. Except for the Dogo and Kitta cards, stash cards provide points at the end of the game. Each card also has an action that you may use during your turn, with the exception of Yum Yum, Dogo, or Kide, which are played on another player's turn. To activate the action, discard the card and perform the action listed on the card. You may play any number of actions on your turn. The number in parentheses on each card indicates how many times that card shows up in the deck. Shiny. Trash pandas love shiny objects. Use a shiny card to distract another player while you steal one of their stash cards. Add that card to your hand. The target player may use Dogo or Kide from their hand to block this action. If they do, discard the shiny card. Yum Yum, also known as Chocolate. Yum Yum is not played on your own turn, but is instead played on another player's turn to force them to take an additional roll once they have decided to stop. That player must roll another die. This basically cancels the player's previous stop decision. If the player busts, they may use Blamo or Nanner's cards as normal. If the player does not bust, they may decide to continue their turn instead of stopping as they had originally planned. Fish, stinky but tasty. Use a Fish card to take a card from the discard pile. If possible, you may use that new card on the same turn. Mmm pie, everyone loves pizza. Use mmm pie to resolve a token a second time. For example, if you use it to resolve a two trash can token, you would draw four cards instead of two. Nanners. Trash pandas go bananas for nanners. Use the nanners card to ignore the last die result and treat it as if you had decided to stop instead. Once a nanners is played, you may not continue rolling unless another player uses a yum yum card on you. Blamo, also known as carbonated energy. Use a blamo to re-roll a previously rolled die. This is often done to prevent a bust, but you may decide to re-roll a die before busting if you want to try for a different result. When stashed, Blamo cards are treated differently from other point cards, as they are worth one point each, and the majority of these cards does not matter. Dogo. This hulking dog is not happy about all this garbage shenanigans. When another player tries to steal from you, using Dogo will prevent them from doing so. Discard the Dogo card, and that player may not resolve their steal action. Dogo is also a bit clumsy and has a habit of knocking over trash cans. When you are resolving tokens, playing Dogo allows you to draw one card for each token you have taken, assuming you haven't busted. For example, if you end your turn with three tokens, you may discard a Dogo card to draw three cards. Kide. 
This cat is neither soft nor warm. It is a cold and evil ball of fur. If another player targets you with a steal action on their turn, you may use a Kitty card to turn the tables on them. Instead of taking a random card from your hand, you take a random card from their hand. That player may use a Dogo card or another Kitty card to defend against this. Once the last card is drawn, the current player finishes their turn and the game ends. All players then set aside any cards remaining in their hand as these cards do not score any points. Next, all players reveal their stashed cards. Any Dogo or Kitty cards do not score any points. Players then add up the total number of cards they have for each type. Players will score points for each type of card depending on how many they have collected in relation to the other players. The icons in the top left corner of each card show how many points are scored for first place, second place, and third place. This is based on the majority for that card type. Players must have at least one card of that type in order to score any points for it. If there is a tie for the card type, the players involved in the tie each receive one fewer point than the normal value. For example, if two players each have two Yum Yum cards and tie for the majority, both players will score three points instead of four. Players score one point for each Blamo card stash. Players count up the points they have scored, and the player with the most points wins the game. Ties are broken by the player who is later in turn order.